Welcome back guys! So today we will talk about what's new with the iOS 14. So just recently Apple released the iOS 14 beta. So if you still haven't upgraded to iOS 14, click the link above. Basically all devices running iOS 13 will be compatible also with the iOS 14. The first thing that you will notice is the redesigned home screen with widgets. When you swipe to the left, today's view remains the same as the older version of the iOS but now you can drag and drop the widgets from your today's view and add it to your home screen. You can also long press anywhere in your home screen and tap on the plus icon at the top corner to add more widgets to your home screen. So there is also a new widget called the Smart Stack, which will adjust which widget it will display based on your usage throughout the day. You can now hide home screen pages, just long press anywhere in your screen and tap on the page indicator. You can now check or uncheck what pages you want to show in your home screen. So for me, I want to have a single page set up of apps and widgets. So all of my other apps will be found in the app library. To access the app library, just swipe to the right and you will see all the apps are grouped in various categories like social, creativity, and etc. All most used apps will remain at the top level for quick access. You can also tap on the search bar for manually search an app or scroll down for the complete list of apps. To add apps in your app library, just long press the app in your home screen. Edit home screen, tap on the minus button, and then add to library. So the app is now moved from the home screen to app library. Aside from that, Siri was also redesigned in iOS 14, activating Siri either through physical buttons or through voice commands. So it will no longer cause the Siri interface to pop up and take over the entire display with the sound wave design. Many of the answers that Siri provides are also shown in the banners at the top of the iPhone. So Siri no longer interrupts other tasks. You can now pin conversations to the top of the Messages app by simply swiping from the left to right. The conversation is now pinned at the top. There are new Memojis, stickers, and styles that cover various ages, headwares, and offer a face mask for your Memoji. Another cool feature is that you can now search for emoji while typing a message. You don't need to scroll to a thousand lists to find the emoji that you want to use. Now you can search for it. And also, Translate is a new application in iOS 14, which allows you to say something in English and have it translated in any language. You can even flip your iPhone to landscape mode, also known as the conversation mode, which allows you to speak someone with translation assistance. And the best part is that it doesn't need an internet connection, so you can still use it even if it's offline. Necesito que me ayudes. Just like Siri, incoming calls in the iOS 14 finally doesn't take up your entire screen. Instead, just a notification card at the top so you can tap and answer the call or swipe away to reject. So there's a lot more to uncover with the iOS 14, so be sure to subscribe to be updated whenever we publish that video. If you have questions, just post it in the comments below and we will love to answer you as much as we can. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye for now!